So, I did my speech on maternity leave extension in the U.S. Did you know that the U.S. is one of the only developed countries that does not offer paid maternity leave to their mothers? <clears throat> I will be showing why the U.S. should offer paid maternity leave. I not only have done extensive research for this speech, but I have also seen how the short amount of time given to moms affects the mother and also the child through my, fam through my own family. <clears throat> Extending maternity leave in the U.S. will allow for families to not only worry too much about financial aspects when the mom goes out on leave since they will already have a set paid leave. We can, we can work towards this by advocating for more <clears throat> Sorry, for more states to work towards a tax-funded program to help provide for the mothers and their families, I'm going to talk about other countries' policies, the U.S. policies currently, and counter-arguments. Many European countries have a universal health care system. This allows a guaranteed maternity leave that is protected by law. The maternity leave they offer is over the 12 weeks that is given to the U.S., in maternity leave by country, Estonia offers 20 weeks of fully paid leave and then an additional 62 weeks of optional leave that is given for them to use. Also in Miss Magazine by Sarah Meritz, Canada offers their parents between 35 to 61 weeks of partially paid leave. They are also offered fully paid leave and if they choose to um, go for the optional leave that they are offered, they get a reduced rate of pay. In maternity, maternity leave by country, Austria is given 16 weeks of leave at 100% pay, and then they are offered an additional 44 weeks of optional pay at 73.1% pay. <clears throat> maternity and paternity at work by Laura Adedi. Croatia's women are entitled uh, to 58 weeks at 100% pay, and then the non-mandatory leave, they are paid a flat rate per month by the state of Croatia. Now that I've talked about what country other countries have in terms of their maternity leave policies, I will compare it to what the U.S. has. The U.S. is one of the only developed countries that does not offer women paid maternity leave, but it does offer a small amount of unpaid leave unless the mother is a federal employee. There is only one law, one law that offers a small amount of protection for women that doesn't allow for them, but it doesn't allow for them to be paid. <clears throat> Mirza also says the Family and Medical Leave Act is providing protected job security, but doesn't guarantee any type of pay. But only 61% of women are eligible for this act. Bonnie Poole states, as a federal employee, the mother can sign a contract stating they will work up to a certain point in their pregnancy that will guarantee that they are actually paid while out on leave. In some states offer a temporary way to, to get income during this time through temporary disability insurance. In the American Action Forum by Ben Gitz says, California, New Jersey, and Rhode Island are a few of these states that offer uh, paid time off through this type of insurance. They provide the payments through trust funded by payroll taxes, um, obviously do, paid by the taxpayers. He also goes to talk about how California offers 52 weeks for the pregnancy, but then an additional six weeks after birth. Now that I've discussed some of the counter, now that I've discussed some of the other policies, I'll discuss the counter arguments that people have about ma extending maternity leave. And uh, there are many people who would fight for not extending maternity leave solely based on financial <clears throat> aspects, but some might argue that businesses would lose employees and money. Uh, the, these companies would have to replace the skilled workers if the mother decided to extend her leave or just entirely not come back to the company. Um, but according to Fast Company, Fast Company, Businesses actually see a greater number of their employees returning back to work whenever they are offered paid leave. Uh, this also increases the productivity of the worker because they feel more appreciated. 
Some would say that this discriminates against fathers or workers without children, but mothers are still seen as the primary caregiver even to this day. So many companies overlook the importance of the father's contribution to the caregiving of the child. And this makes it difficult for them to participate in the actual caregiving. In Mill Bank Quarterly by Arjita Nadi, they say fathers may be less likely to use parental leave if they experience workplace stigma associated with, with asking for leave. So a lot of times fathers aren't given the same opportunity as the mothers to go out and like take their leave and provide. I know my own stepfather had issues. His company wasn't offering paternity leave up until about four months before my own sister was born. And that was just this past April. So in conclusion, the leave would be beneficial for families to have because it brings income while the mother's unable to work. I've discussed other countries' policies, policies in the US, and the counter arguments. Due to the lack of paid maternity leave, mothers are having to return to their work um, sooner than advised, which would lead to problems for both the mother and the child. But with the states pushing for a taxpayer funded program, we could be able to help out these, these women. The U.S. needs to figure out how to check up with other countries and provide more support for women in the workforce.